Hey guys, what is going on? This is LarkNuck1, and welcome back to part 15 of my Let's Play of Civilization Beyond Earth. We are playing as the African Union, and we are going for a purity victory. Last time, oh, it was not good. Uh, the PAC came over the hills, they're coming for Xerxes. They have a lot of troops moving in, superior technology, and frankly, I don't even know if Xerxes will be able to hold out, but our troops will hold out for as long as they can, and... Yeah, we'll, we'll just, you know, try to manage our our planes and tack jets and range unit here and our guys to the best. We also have two more marines healing up at the moment. When those guys are fully healed, we will be good to send them in. Um, we also just acquired, uh, where is it? Here we go. Um, we just got terraforming. So now we can build the floatstone quarries that we need um, in order to get us the hollow matrix right here. Um, so, we don't have the floatstone quite yet, but we do have it coming in four turns, but we actually have a good opportunity to probably build them now, so what I'm thinking we might want to do is open up the diplomacy tree and see if anyone is willing to trade us some floatstone. Bonjour, mon ami. Oh, she doesn't have any. Because, it, like, okay, so here's the thing. Um, hollow matrices are an amazingly large amount of culture. They have a total of seven tiles under their, you know, range, and they coat each of those tiles with two culture. Now, if you're doing the math right, that is 14 culture, a single hollow matrix. That is a lot. That is basically 20% of what I'm producing right now, with one hollow matrix. That's crazy. So what we want to do is try to find ourselves a vendor of floatstone, Hola. if we can. How can I help so Suzanne's you? got two. Uh, what does she want for what this? Do you Titanium. Uh, you know what? This is actually not bad. We can do that. As Adam Smith said, let's go ahead and check if anyone else has any. Oh, that's who we just talked to. Did we talked to Kavitha. Namaste. No floatstone. How about you, Kozlov? Have you got floatstone? No. And Hutama. Good to see. No. You. By the way, how is our relationship with Tell him. Me. We have an alliance, but we don't have a cooperation agreement. Good to see you again. He doesn't want to No can Well do. so looks like Utama might not be our ally in the long run, but for now he is our ally, even though he doesn't want a cooperation agreement, which means he doesn't want long term um, agreements with us, which is bad, but you know. Uh, at any rate we do now have the float stone so we can probably build hollow matrices wherever it is wise to build them. So let's go ahead and grab one here in Magan. Swap to production focus if we can. The faster we can get those bad boys out, the better. Growth can s take a, uh, a side seat for the moment. Here as well, in Janali. That is sweet, three turn hollow matrix. That's awesome, and that uses up our two current float stones. So we'll have to wait for this guy to finish before we start building more. Um, as for these tack jets, I want them up in Tabo. Just in case shit hits the fan, which it already has. <laughs> um, as for these tech jets, what to do with them? We could throw them at uh, these ranged units here and take a lot of damage. Um, I just think that's not wise. We're going to sit tight. Oh my goodness, this is such a bad situation up here. As for this guy, you just keep working on that mag rail, buddy. You got two marines. They'll probably be inbound next turn. Yeah, they're full healed now. But what is the PAC going to do? That's what worries me. Oh my goodness. Okay, hopefully they fire on Xerxes. Alright, they are firing on Xerxes with that one. Oh, they're shooting the Marine with this one. So much damage. 49 damage. Oh, they just shot Clone Echo. Oh my god. So much damage. Alright, so... Looking at Unholy Stalkers here, he has... Where's the health gauge? Why isn't the health gauge available? There it is. 51 health, so he'll heal 30 in friendly territory, getting him up to 81. It's not bad. It's not that much, but, you know. And then Clone Echo should be fine, healing up to 92. Um... Right, we just need to kind of kill these units. So our gunner here, that's really his only option. Uh, Dark Guard, so let's go ahead and give Dark Guard one more kill. 
And then Xerxes fire where to focus it. Um, I think we could probably take out this melee unit and protect Clone Echo. So let's go ahead and do that. We also have a gunner here in Xerxes. We can totally target the melee unit with that guy as well. They're bringing in a battle suit. That's not good. Um, and then this sentinel here is thoroughly injured, so maybe we can kill him with just one or two tack jet strikes. There we go. One shot, one kill. Very good. Um, we gotta pull our marines in. Uh, I'm thinking probably just protect the workers. I want to be able to build those mag rails. So we'll just get our guys fortified right there. And we're... How would this do? Oh my goodness, that would annihilate our tech jet. Let's not do that. And just keep these guys in interception and healing mode. Hopefully these guys will be alright. This is just not looking good, though. You know, if this... This guy could take more damage. We could really finish it with attack jets, but it's just not worth it at the moment. Maybe we should send up a ranger? Probably... I don't really see any frontier coming up. And we do have four marine stations, so we should be fine. Um... What's this? Oh! Oh! What? I thought we... Okay. Well, we have two spy missions. Not sure how that happened, but we do. So, let me go ahead and send the guy that's sitting in the capital out to Huanle. Because that'll give us another spy. And that is going to be excellent for health in the long game. Let's go ahead and hit next turn. Let's see where this takes us. Come on, PAC. Come at me, bruh. Whoa! Whoa. Alright. Um... She wants a peace deal. <laughs> she wants a peace deal. Um... I'm... Last time this came around, it wasn't too good for us, but... We don't have any possibility of putting, like, pressure on them, and we're just losing units, and I want Clone Echo to live. So I feel like this is probably the best idea. I think at ten turns, we might be more rough and ready for combat. We have more science than her, so... I'm gonna accept it. Ah, don't punish me in the long game, please. Alright, there we go. Peace with the PAC. Maybe it was the pressure we showed with the Marines and the extra tack jets. Maybe it just scared her off and was like, yeah, it's not worth it. At any rate, that was sweet. We now have an expert veterancy on Dark Guard. Looking good, Dark Guard. Looking good. And we finished the mag rails here. Which, uh, is it enough to connect Xerxes? No, it is not. We're missing one. Uh, but you know what, let's go ahead and send our guy up here to work on this Xenomass as well. As for this guy, send him down right here and build us the last mag rail to Tabo. Our marine here is good to set up. You can just kind of walk right up. As for these tack jets, um, yeah, they're actually good where they are. I like that it got the PAC to piece us, which is very good. We'll probably slide our marines up to a forward in case the PSE does try anything tricky in the long run, and kind of just keep our guys where they are. That was good! I'm, I'm really glad with that result. Um, just hopefully we don't get punished in the long game, but it's a different thing entirely, I guess. Uh, we have a lot of mag rails that just finished, um, and lots of free workers. Three here. This one, four. Four workers in total. Uh, so you know what, let's go ahead and get this guy working on the float stone. The more float stone we have, the better. Whereas, this guy too. Get him up there. And these two. We can send one out to finish this mag rail. And this second one here. Um, let's send him out to this float stone. I want to just enable all that float stone as soon as I can. So looking at a yawn, it actually seems to be working all of its four food tiles, and it needs more. Growth on a yawn has not been going as fast as I'd like it to. So, let's actually send this guy up here to build farms. As for this worker, he can just keep building the mag rail, and eventually we'll try to build a mag rail out this way to connect Bongani and Ayan. Eventually. Eventually. Alright, our marine in Tabo is done. Uh, it's probably high time to build the petrochemical plant here. Very good. Uh, alternatively, we could build the trade route. Xerxes doesn't have a trade route. Um, so, let's go ahead and do that. It's just two turns. Real easy. Let's hit the next turn. That was a good result. I'm happy with that. In 10 turns, we're going to be somewhere 
uh, where the PC doesn't like us. Alright, whatever, we're not your friends. What are you doing with these battle suits? PC are so scary. They're running a huge deficit, though, with all these terror escapes. That, why would you do that to yourself? Anyways, we got another virtue. Um, geez, we can grab Techno Artisans now, and that's going to give us so much science in the long run because of the hollow matrices. Or we could go towards Magnasanti. I'm going to stick with my guns and grab Techno Artisans. Jeez, it's just so much science, especially as we get more. Uh, what do you call them? Hollow matrices up. First hollow matrix is done. Alright, so now what we want to find out is where do we want to deploy these guys? Alright, looking at it, this is actually a good spot. It has all seven tiles being worked. And then we can also drop one here. So yeah, that's actually really good. That's how we'll equip Magan with tons of culture. Let's go ahead and drop one there. Just like that, look at that. We're up 20 additional culture. Well, 14 should be. Unless we have percent bonuses here. But geez, oh Pete's, look at that, that's so crazy. Oh my goodness, let's get our gunner up here. Um, probably put the gunner right there. And get our marine up there too. Sweet. Get our attack jets, just intercept mode. And this guy, we wanted him to build us some farms. That's interesting, that's a float stone tile I hadn't noticed. Would there be any possibility of getting it? We'd buy that way, but I mean, we'd have to expand that way. I, I just like the flowstone. I don't even want to have to work it. That's seven flowstone. That's a lot. Um, could we theoretically buy other tiles that we want to expand to? Enforce it. Ah, no. See, now it wants to expand south. Well, whatever. We spent the money. I'm fine with it. Uh, we'll be done with one hollow matrix. Um could use more float stone, but we're going to be done with this one, actually right now. So there we go. We can probably build another in Janali. Just like that. I want to just pump out hollow matrices. These things are so good. Alright, so we did finish the thorium reactor in Bongani. Very good for our economy. How's the local health looking? Five. So we're on point with that. Uh, question is, what do we want to get here now? Well, we really need to grow here. So the cloning plant's not a bad idea at all. Um, it's going to secure long-term growth for Bungani. Up here, we need the Xenomass well. And our worker finished the first Magrail here. Let's just keep sending them east, uh, sorry, westward. And keep building Magrails to try to connect to Bungani. As for you, worker, build me a Floatstone Quarry and another one. Got to mobilize our Floatstone Quarries real quick. Sure, <laughs> you're north of the PAC. You don't threaten us. No? We just we just made friends with her. She's she's pretty cool. I like Elodie right now. Just like that, Tabo's gonna hit eleven population. Brings it actually above Aeon. This is why we need farms here. And one more hollow matrix. Alright, let's shoot this guy right here. Boom bam, thank you for the culture, sir. That is so good. Look at all that culture. And our agent has arrived in Huanlei, so let's get them to establish that network and give us a free spy. Hollow Matrix all done in Magan. Um, let's go ahead and grab yet another one. These things are so good. Unless we can build it elsewhere. No, definitely going for a second Hollow Matrix. These things are too good. Look at our culture drone. Already up to 86 right now. What to do with this worker? Um, hmm... Probably get him up to Tabo and build us more food or Bungani. I think Tabo will be fine for now. Um, let's go ahead and build a farm out here on this plains. Give Bungani more food. And our trade convoy in Tabo is done, so it's high time to build that petrochemical plant and give just a little more extra resources in Tabo. Send this guy out to Xerxes. So maybe we want to. Yeah, let's swap places right there. That's good. Probably back off too a little bit. I don't want our guys too forward. And with that flowstone quarry done, we have another worker available to us. Where to send you? Hmm. We could actually keep building more farms for Tabo. Or, you know, one thing we could do is build academies. I'm not actually opposed to that. Two academies in Tabo would do it a lot of justice. 
This guy. Alright, we had you on Magrail duty, that's right. We might want to swap a Yon off of research development now to think about it. Yeah, um, maybe agriculture? I want to get a Yon growing. It's kind of shameful that it's like our flagship way out here city, and it just doesn't... Tabo's outgrown it. We have forgotten that when nature goes about her work, she sings to herself. Have you heard the song of this world? It's gonna help Tabo out as it grows. Our backs are strong, and our bellies yes. are full, because on earth, someone's belly is empty, and their back is bowed. Make sure your conduct is worthy of their pain. Good purity quotes, good purity quotes. That brings us to seven. So finally, guys, we now have access to both the Guardian and the Sentinel. Um, I like this upgrade. I think it's just better than this one. It's good for assault. And if you're on the defense, this is basically just plus 20%, which is really good. Here with the Sentinel. Same thing. Uh, this is better for defense, technically, but this one's also 20% on defense, basically. So there we go. Grab that guy. And then for Needle Jets... This could be good in sing in multiplayer games, but I really like this, and I just like the extra strike damage, so that's what we're going with. Carrier, for whatever reason, and you might want to swap over to... Unless there's something to build, there's not. Uh, you know what we could do is... Nah, I don't really want a production focus, we can leave that to the other cities. Uh, let's go ahead and do agricultural focus. Um, two turns, could we... I don't really have more food tiles besides this one. I kind of want more four food tiles for this city. So we'll... we'll um, it's, it's a good thing we sent our worker up there. And a yon will grow in just two turns. Actually, does it really make a difference if we go like... What was the uh, the growth rate with research focus on? Same thing. Oddly. Well, we'll just stay on research focus then. Two turns it is. And with biospheres done, the question is what do we want to get now? Um... There's a lot of options around. So, looking around, um, we still haven't gotten our free tech from the Institute here. So, when that does come, we could either grab nanotechnology, or, I mean, that's a very good option. Uh, it's just a little better to get earlier rather than later. I feel like turn 220 is when you get into the mid to late game. Uh, there's some strategies that'd be done by now. See, I'm not playing optimally. I, I wouldn't attest to that. I'm playing well. Given my circumstances, I'm not, I'm not abusing mechanics like academies too much. Um, but nanotech might be a good option. Uh, alternatively, we can grab social dynamics when we do get that. I think that's... Let me see something. So, some of the distilleries are for health, which is really, really good. But what is the local health in cities like Magan? Eight. So, you know what? That actually might be worth it. Um, to go ahead and grab social dynamics. Because then we can increase our local health all over the place and solve this health issue really quickly. So, in the meantime, when we're choosing research, um, we can expect to probably get social dynamics for free. But what do we want to do? So, here's, here's an option that's actually available to me. I'm at 7 right now. Uh, this would give 25. Which, looking at this, we only need 15 more. So, I'd basically be 10 into the next one. Um, and then there'd be like, you know, uh, you need maybe 10 more to finish. And then you need maybe 20. So 30 in addition to this guy uh, would get us to level 10. So what we could do is we could go several machinery and then down into mobile LEV and hope that this gets us to level 10. Because if it does, a uh, little known fact about Mr. Battlesuit here. Uh, he levels up, well, he's, sorry, he's accessible level 4 purity. But you can also level him up at 12 purity or 10 purity and 4 harmony or 4 supremacy. We just so happen to be very close to Four Harmony, so something we might want to do is grab Server Machinery and get us that much closer to going down into 10 Purity, and then we could probably... Where's the Harmony points? We can go Photosystems, that's one option. Uh, alternative, you know, actually Alien Adaptation right here is very good. Um, yeah, this would give us enough points to get to level 4, it looks like, so that is what we're going to do. In the meantime, though, you know, we will have energy. We do have energy issues, so. I'm actually thinking maybe we want to go autonomous systems and build the master control. Has anyone built that yet? Wow, no. It's very few wonders actually built. Just the Gene Garden, looks like, and the Promethean. So let's go ahead and do that. See if it pays off. 
that master control is just so good. It can be a lifesaver. Just pour in just so much energy. So our trade route in Xerxes is done. Uh, where do we want to send this guy? Uh, internationally is kind of moot at this point, so maybe just stay within borders. And where do we want to send it? Nothing really benefits Xerxes too well, but we can send resources somewhere. I want to send him to Ayan. I want Ayan to grow. Hopefully Ayan grows. And keep our soldiers here all readied up in case combat does break out. But it looks like they're not going to be able to screw with us since we hit Infinity level 7. And what are we going to do with you, Mr. Worker? Hmm. We could send him up to build farms for Tabo. More farms. Never hurt anyone. Except the enemy. Who Thomas went, no, buddy. I don't want war with them. Ian is trying to get his population up as is. If we grabbed autonomous systems, we could build so many more workers to help out with everything. Up in Xerxes and between that connection. Oh, hell no. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Not today. Wait, you know what I might want to keep my eye on is the covert ops here. Um... Yeah, because see, in 8 and 7 turns, we're going to be getting science. So when that happens, we want to swap over to something really expensive. Because we're getting social dynamics for free when we get that quest, whenever we get it, we're going to want to swap over to nanotech in that many turns and make sure that we get the free science, if we get it, hopefully we do, um, towards those goals. All right, so we did finish a hollow matrix here. And it looks like we don't actually have enough for another. Because we got one more petroleum. So maybe we want to get that. But as is, let's go ahead and launch this guy. Uh, I think over Janale is probably a wise place to put it. But where over Janale? Looks like right here is a great choice. It's covering all the tiles. But maybe we can make room for two over Janali? What would we have to do for that? No, it doesn't look like it. Um, yeah, we could put one here and then maybe theoretically one there, but that just loses two tiles. But yeah, let's go ahead and deploy that first one right there. Sweet location, 101 culture now, guys. That's crazy. That is how the Hollow Matrix do. Um, let's go ahead and tell this guy to build a farm and see if we can't get anyone on the line to sell us some oil. Uh, we're chill with Elodie, right? Bonjour, mon All right, so we only need one. So go ahead and hit me up with one. Can we... All right, that's not bad. Le we'll go ahead and do that. So tell Janali to build one more hollow matrix. That's sweet. Um, as more of this floatstone finishes, we can probably buy even more petroleum from international sources and get more of these guys online. Hollow matrixes are just so unbelievably good. <sighs> oh my goodness. CEO Suzanne Fielding on Kozlov. Alright, I don't think that concerns us. It's kind of out there. And production in Xerxes. We finished the auto plant here, which was our long-term investment. So what do we want now? Uh, local health is at 2. Jeez. Oh, um, I'm going to go ahead and grab the lab. That's good science in the short term. Just a good investment early. We got two more holomakers coming in in just one turn. Looking good. So Janali is actually the same population as Magan now. So we might want to compare these two guys. How do they how do they fare? As soon as our turn comes around, we'll check. I want to look at which one actually has more production because I want to know which is going to be the better candidate into the late game for building our gates and stuff. Thirty three production in Magan, ambient, and. 50.2, okay, so it looks like Janali is our best bet. We have established our network and we're done with that guy, so let's go ahead and get him to deliver the dossier. We gotta remember in five turns to swap over to something useful. Alright, so Hollow Matrix or the Nanotech, I believe. Yeah, Nanotech. So Hollow Matrix done here. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can buy some foreign oil. Or maybe we should wait until we get our, our uh, floatstone up. Yeah, we need our floatstone mine up. 
At any rate, guys, that is the end of the episode. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, guys, take care. Oh, and guys, I am now uploading an episode a day, so please subscribe. Uh, you're going to get new content from me every single day. And I'm really enjoying this, guys. Into the mid-game, I just love how many, how so many options there are. We can go mechatronics for LEV plants, and then down to here for this 10 purity, and then mix it with a hybridization, or go for nanotech, Ogor, or go for one of my favorite techs in the game, social dynamics. This is just so much fun. Uh, this is great. So thank you guys for watching at any rate, and I will see you guys next time.